Mm -hmm. And we do need to mention, we're just getting this into CNN, that the death toll has now risen past 1,400. So more than 1,400 people killed at this point in this massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake that hit uh, around 11.41 a.m. local time. Uh, Dennis, I want to ask you about uh, just some of the biggest concerns and challenges. I mean, there's no power. When you look at these images, this is mass destruction that we're talking about. Uh, very difficult uh, when it comes to communication, getting anybody on the line to figure out uh, what exactly is needed, what kind of injuries. Um, what are your biggest concerns at this point? Well, the, the biggest concerns must be uh, efforts to reach those who are injured and trapped in the rubble. There may, there may be many hundreds of people uh, waiting uh, for aid in the rubble, and night is falling. Night has fallen. Uh, the weather is worsening. And we know that uh, Nepal is very poorly equipped when it comes to search and rescue equipment. There are very, for example, in the Kathmandu Valley, uh, there are very few fire brigade engines, and uh, we know those rescue vehicles that are available are going to be struggling now and hampered by rubble in the streets, very narrow streets, particularly in the older parts of Kathmandu, where many old buildings have collapsed. And uh, unfortunately, we, we, we see that uh, building codes in Kathmandu itself have not been well upheld in recent years. Efforts have been made over the last year to strengthen these building codes, but unfortunately, that comes too late for the many thousands of buildings which have gone up uh, across the Kathmandu Valley in the last 20 years, which did not adhere to the uh, building codes required in a place that is so prone to uh, earthquakes as the Kathmandu Valley.